Of course, come November, it's your voice, your vote, and we are helping to make it all count by breaking down the rules and voting deadlines in some of the key states. So let's go to North Carolina first here. The last day to request an absentee ballot is October 27th. Ballots must be postmarked by Election Day, but the state is allowing until November 12th for those to be received in case the mail is slow. Voters must complete their absentee ballot in front of a witness, and the witness must also sign that ballot envelope. North Carolina voters have already requested 1.4 million absentee ballots. Let's go to Texas now. Another potential battleground state. Absentee ballots must be postmarked by 7 p.m. on Election Day and received no later than 5 p.m. the day after the election. If you are voting in person, you are required to show a photo ID there. At the polls, no one is allowed to use wireless communication devices that include cell phones and cameras within 100 feet of voting stations. Right now, Texas leads early vote counts with nearly 6.4 million ballots already being cast by mail or in person. For more information on how to vote in your state, you can go to 538.com. Dan, over to you. And we want to remind everybody we're going to have live coverage on election night all night long, led by our George Stephanopoulos and the entire powerhouse political team at election headquarters in New York, D.C., and Delaware. Plus, we'll have correspondents reporting from live from battleground states across the country, including some correspondents named Eva and Witt. That's uh, November 3rd, starting at 7 Eastern, right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.